going further to bring you closer really is the essence of the expedition product. It's the concept of taking guests to these fascinating remote destinations and giving them once in a lifetime wildlife viewing encounters. We're going to go deeper, going far beyond wherever they've dreamed of going before. You're literally at the edge of the world, finding yourself, immerse yourself. I think any time you have the opportunity to explore and learn, you naturally become closer to it. They're all coming to see nature, they're coming to see remote destinations, they're coming to, to see what this planet has to offer. Seaborn's legacy actually goes back over 30 years. In part of our journey was Seaborn Quest starting to do expedition itineraries in Antarctica. The success of that, then a natural evolution, was for us actually to design two purpose-built PC-6 ice class ultra-luxury ships for expedition. We are going to continue the pillars of service that our guests have been accustomed to, the continuation of what we do. We've created a vessel that is truly an ultra-luxury vessel and it is truly an expedition vessel. There's no compromise. We sat down to look at unique destinations and itineraries that we could do with Seaborn Venture around the world. Including the Falkland Islands, Iquitos, Kuberville Island, Ilulisat, Manaus, Svalbard, Devil's Island, Scoresby Sound, Reykjavik. In the southern part of Greenland is Prince Christiansen. There's a small little village called Akpilagtok. You know, you're visiting a completely isolated community. There's absolutely no way in and out of that place unless you go by boat. One of the things I'm really excited about, actually, is the portfolio of suites. Now, all of our 132 suites are full ocean front. They all have private verandas. We actually are launching a two-story winter garden suite. Can you imagine waking up in the morning? You probably won't be able to get out of bed. You'll be looking at that stunning vista, maybe spotting some wildlife. Just absolutely spectacular. All of our interiors designed by Adam Tahani, one of the world's most preeminent hospitality interior designers. The inspiration behind the design had to do a lot with the uh, history of expeditions, the story of the great explorers. The materials that we use on the ship are basically all natural materials, mohair and wool and different woods and so on and so forth. All the materials that come from Mother Nature and that people used uh, in the old days of exploration. The Expedition Lounge, where before a briefing, you could enjoy a cup of coffee. After you, you do a landing, you could come back up into the Expedition Lounge and warm up. Guests are going to find fireplaces that are going to set the mood, that warm atmosphere, that cozy feeling on board Seaborn Venture. Expedition ships are predominantly uh, about knowledge and enrichment. People go on these uh, cruises to learn. When you get back on board, the buzz on the ship is unbelievable. People at recap and briefing, they're showing their pictures, sharing their experiences, what they saw. All the guests will join us in the Discovery Center and members of the expedition team will get up and talk about the day's experience through our program known as Seaborne Conversations. On Seaborne Venture, we'll have a team of 26 expedition staff. That team will comprise of geologists, ornithologists, marine biologists, climatologists, sailing with you and joining you in the Zodiac, and are sitting with you opposite dinner. Wildlife encounters are kind of paramount to the overall guest experience. If there's a place called Salisbury Plain, for example, in South Georgia, and the guests actually think the beach is the highlight because it's just covered in wildlife. What they don't realize is that just over the hill, is 250,000 pairs of king penguins in one large rookery staring at you. That experience for many of our guests truly is overwhelming. What gets me most excited is the range of activities. You know, as a guest on board the ship in one day, you could join us on a Zodiac tour, you could join us on a landing, coming ashore, going for a hike, you could go kayaking, and you could potentially go in the submarine all in one day. What I'm really excited about are the submarines. To go down in the Arctic, to get to see the wildlife underwater, 
I think that's just going to be amazing. The acrylic spheres have the same reflective index as water. The first thing every single guest does when they're in a submarine, once it's gone under the water, is you see them do this because they don't know where the glass starts and where the water is. You know, very exciting and I, I think the submarine is going to be a fantastic addition to, to the overall experience. If I was to sum up Seaborn Venture in one word, it would be extraordinary. Excitement. Enlightenment. Luxury. It's the passion that goes with learning, the raw enjoyment of the world around you.